Hello, today I'm going to show you how to install macOS Leopard on iMac G4. First of all, you can install macOS Leopard using an install DVD. However, on this iMac G4, the DVD drive doesn't work. So we are going to install Leopard using the USB port. First of all, you need to make a disk image using the macOS Leopard install DVD, the original DVD. Uh, second of all, um, you need a USB flash drive. It can be either eight gigabytes or bigger. The smallest it can be is a gigabyte. So after you have created the disk image, uh, mine I have named it OSX Leopard 10.5, um, you will connect your USB flash drive, you will select it, click erase, and in here, you are going to select Apple Partition Map. It can only be Apple Partition Map. Um, you can name it whatever you want to do, and then you just click erase. You're going to wait till it's erased, Then after that, you click Done. You select the partition you just created. You go up here to Edit and you click Restore. In here, you are going to click on Image. This is going to open the Files Manager and you are going to select the disk image you just created. Click Choose and then Restore. This is gonna take some time and what this is doing is that this is copying the information from the disk installer of Leopard. It also works with Tiger and it's going to restore it to our USB flash drive. Now we are going to take our USB flash drive and we are going to connect it in either one of the USB ports in the back of or iMac G4, or I mean, it also works with any PowerPC Mac, either a Power Mac G5 or a Power Mac G3, or an iBook G3, iBook G4, Power Mac G3, Power Mac G4. So you just connect it. And now we are ready to turn the computer on and install the operating system. So now what we are going to do is that we are going to turn on the iMac while holding the option key. And we are going to keep holding it until we see the boot options. So right now, we can see that there are two options to boot from. One is the internal hard drive, which is right here. And second of all is our USB flash drive. So we are going to wait for a little bit till you can see the normal pointer. And then we are going to select our flash drive. Okay, I've selected the flash drive and then I have to click on this arrow. And it will start booting from the flash drive. Okay, right now we're going to select the language, in this case English. We're going to go to Utilities disk utility we're going to select the internal hard drive erase we're going to erase it like macos enter extended journal we can name in whatever we want
you can close this now hit continue agree we're going to select our internal hard drive and click install and it will start installing the operating system so I will see you when the installing process has finished after the installation has completed the power Mac will restart and as you can see the installation has finished and now it is booting directly from the hard drive and we will be greeted by the welcome video Okay, at this point you can create your account and the computer will be ready to use. I have to add that there are some USB flash drives that are not recognized um, on the booting screen. So what you have to do in that case is that you have to try with a different flash drive until eventually you will find one that is compatible so that the power Mac will be able to boot from that specific flash drive.